Hello Blitz fans of all ages, it's me Plumcastle, and today we are going to be taking a look at this new souvenir store event. Now this is an event that will kind of be determined by what you did over the year. Various things that you did in the game will give you the ability to get more out of this event. First of which, let's take a look at what we can get, and that is this uh, little, I don't even know what they want to call this, but whatever this item is, if we take a look inside, you can see that there, it's, it's essentially a crate, a box, and then if we look inside here, there's a chance for the Panzer II J, T-15, uh, Locust, M3 Light, and T-127, and you can see that there is comp compensation if you have these tanks already, all of them have a 3% drop chance. Um, Holiday Magic, that's a camouflage, small gold charm, that's 100% chance apparently, that's pretty cool. And, you know, like boosters and uh, another camouflage. Uh, this is what the camouflages look like, uh, as you can imagine that they're... Hmm. Oh, sorry, this is an attachment, my bad. Still pretty cool looking attachment, and this would be the camouflage. Anyway, that's what there is. Now let me explain what you do to actually be able to get this. And that has to do with both what's on the right and what's actually on the top because this event goes for 10 days. At least it started at 10 days. It may be different depending on when you watch this video. But as you can see here, you can get one token per day. And that token is what we use to open this. In fact, we can open this using one token. As well, and the main way that you're probably going to be getting tokens is through various things that you did over the year. So you can exchange certain items that you might have accumulated in your storage to then be able to do this. Now, if we take a look at my storage, we can actually see what this looks like. A while ago, you might have seen these come into the game. They're a little bit random. And each one's going to be associated with a different in-game thing. Sorry, that is the wrong event. There we go. This is for getting an ace tanker badge at some point, which apparently I did. I mean, it makes sense. I think I got one not too long ago uh this is for getting reactions honestly i think pretty much everyone's gonna have one of these uh icy surprise was uh from a collectible item uh if it really is an ice cube i don't know when that came into the game because i never saw that at least to, not to my recollection uh mode is just for playing in a fun mode uh this is for completing a battle pass which it has been a while since i've done one of those and then the uh, you basically had to get an avatar in that uh, witch event from uh, Halloween. And I didn't think I did that, but apparently I did. Anyway, since I've explained that, I'm not going to go ahead and open a few of these because I can just exchange these. Uh, and you'll get a collectible item that you can either keep or sell. I, I keep every single one of these. And then you, of course, get the tokens. And let's see, I think that means I'm going to get something like 12 of them which is pretty cool. All in all, if you were to go just with this, assuming you don't get wins, that would be what, like 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, uh, or something like that. Plus the additional wins, you could theoretically be opening like 28 of these, depending on what you did, which is pretty cool. And now we get to open 12 of these. Let's see what comes out of them. The first one is going to be a, uh, okay, pretty normal stuff. I did notice at the bottom here that the gold certificate, you only need three of them, which is pretty cool. Normally, you would need 10. I don't know what the amount of gold is. I guess we'll find out in a moment. And another container that looks a lot like that. And here goes the third one, and we'll hopefully see what that gold amount actually ends up being. 100 gold, okay. Not a ton, but still pretty cool that we got it. Opening up another one, and let us see what we get out of this one. Wow, there are like no tanks. Oh, right. They're like super low drop chances. Honestly, a Panzer II J would be like super cool in my opinion. We've got eight more of these. And out of this one, we get... Uh, so it looks like it's it's honestly going to be a lot of uh, boosters. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, pretty much everything that is not the gold charm or those boosters is a 3% drop chance. So the likelihood of getting something out of here is admittedly pretty low. And there was the 100 gold from the opening the three. At least we're getting gold out of this. That is pretty cool. Boosters are nice, but uh, boosters alone can sometimes be a little bit eh, run of the mill. And I think we've got like four more after this. Uh, if I get pretty much the same thing out of all of these, that wouldn't be completely unexpected. 
there's three, there's the gold. And now let's see, these are the last three containers, I suppose is what they would be called. I, I don't really know. I mean, that looks like a, a gumball machine, but it's, I guess, a container. And then with this one we get, okay, we got a locust. We did get a tank, 3% drop chance, not exactly the highest, but we got a locust. I don't know if I had the locust. Um, I honestly can't remember. Uh, I don't think so. My gold didn't go up enough to warrant having had the locust before. And now here goes the last crate. Honestly, we got a tank out of there. Pretty cool. And there's another 100 gold. So out of that, if we take a look at this, just in opening that, what was it, like 18, not 18 boxes, it was like 12 boxes. We got uh, 100 gold here, 100 gold here. So 400 gold. Pretty cool. And we got a locust plus, you know, some other uh, XP certificates and stuff like that. Honestly, the locust is probably the best thing I got out of it. But anyway, that concludes the video. And so with that, hope you all enjoyed. And as always, have fun, good luck, and happy tanking.